So you want to get better at FPS. Struggling. Can't figure out how. Well, you know. Getting pooped on. Mm-hmm. Well, today's the day that all changes. Trey J gonna help y'all out in two different ways. Number Tell one, me. on keyboard and mouse and on controller. On both, actually. Now, this is our way of training. Not to say that this is gonna make you a great player, but if you stick to this regimen or if you stick to... This is only part one of it. Like, this is the beginning stage, okay? But if you stick to this, you do it the way that we're telling you to do it, mm -hmm. and, and you have fun with it. You know what I mean? You gotta have fun. You gotta get out there. You gotta train. Of course, you gotta desire to get better, okay? First of all, let's let's talk about ways how to get better. I think that's what we should cover first. Okay, number one, you want to download an aim trainer. That's number one. At at some point, some way, some way, somehow, they're on PS4. Yep. There is Dreams, mm -hmm. and on PC you have Aim Labs and Kovacs. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any of those downloaded, what are we doing? What are we doing? You need it. You like need honestly, it. it's a it's a game changer. It's most of them are free. It's a game changer. The one that we're using today is going to be Aim Labs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so download Aim Labs if you have PC. Now, when you download Aim Labs, you don't want to just get in there and just start doing a whole bunch of stuff. You want to first of all find your sensitivity, mm -hmm. what works for you. That's first things first. If you are on controller, you want to download DS for Windows. Mm -hmm. Um, that's going to allow for you to use a PS4 controller in Aim Labs or an Xbox controller as well or Xbox. Um. For keyboard and mouse players, you guys know, just go through your settings, set this game to your game settings, you know, and and get your FOV, all of that basic stuff out the way. Okay, now that we're done with that, the drill that we normally start with is multi-line trace. Why? Because it is a good drill to just get warmed up. You're just following straight lines, just going right to left, to diagonal, to up, to down, to right, to left. And, and just to say, um, when I play, I like my arm to slide across, so I wear a sleeve, and that just helps me. I feel a lot more comfortable when I play, when I'm just, when I glide. Because I sweat right here, it just be grippy, and that's disgusting. I mean, on controller, you know what I mean? If you don't have the right control freak or thumbstick grip, you know, your thumb can slip off the yeah. stick too, so. So yeah, I use this, you know. Um, the first drill is, Multi-line trace. And and honestly, I, I really do love this drill. It's a very good drill. Um, I feel like it's a great drill to start off with for beginners. Like, it's kind of the drill that can show you through the ropes of what aim training and, you know, aiming is as a whole. Because when you actually finally understand the science of aiming itself, it's all angles. Literally, it's all angles. Like, you, once you go through multi-line trace and you mm -hmm. see how... Practically everything is all diagonal angles. You know, it's like switches start to go off. Yeah. And it's like, so aiming really isn't that hard. It's not. But I will not lie. Your first scores. Oh, they're going to be terrible. Oh, they're going to be terrible. Man. And you have to accept the fact you that they're going to be it. terrible. You have to understand. Do not. Put your ego to the man, side. Look. Put your low ego to the side. <laughs> Do not get to a point where you get you get frustrated because you can't go fast. Mm -hmm. When you're doing this drill, especially this drill, take your time. Learn how to stay in between the green line. Go slow. You will get the speed later. You just need mm -hmm. to get, you teach your hand, hey, go this direction. Or go this thumb. direction. Or your thumb. Go this direction and go accurately. You don't want to be falling out the line and you go back. Take your time. It's not about speed. It is about precision. Be precise. The speed will come later. So for anybody that, you know, may ask in the comment section, would it be best to start out slow and understand the, the drills first or go fast? Start off slow, please. Yes. Start off slow and get your understanding under you first before trying to go all buck wild and crazy. And start off relaxed. That like too. When you, when you go, don't, like when you first get into aim labs, you're going to feel intimidated. You're going to see these drills and you're just going to be like, yo, man, it, this feels like a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really not. The more that you do them, the more that you realize nobody's judging you. It's you by yourself. Just train. Train and get better and know that you're going to keep getting better every single day that you do these drills. Mm -hmm. uh, the second drill that we did was line trace. And line trace is... Regular line trace. Regular line trace. It's very good. It, it helps you with, if you're on keyboard and mouse, it helps you to keep your arm still and just use your wrist. Flick left to right, you know what I mean? And uh, staying in straight lines, staying in between that green bar and not coming out and then hitting the ball immediately as soon as you see it. Um, I would tell you... Do not try, don't take your eyes off the cursor. Hmm. 
anticipate the ball to come up on whichever direction it's going and let yourself cruise in it and then tap as soon as you as soon as you see it within the cursor and within your crosshair then hit the sh then hit your shot and go back don't like you're shooting looking in the middle you shoot and then you look this way and then try to drag that way don't do that when you first start off the don't drill shoot stare at your crosshair and mm -hmm. go through the green and go all the way back and take your time the speed will come later and i also want to say for controller players it's going to take a while for you to understand that there's different levels and different ways of thumb aiming yes so when you do multi-line trace you know you'll learn that you have to point and angle your thumb a certain way where it'll be more of the tip of your thumb and then when you do regular line trace it'll be more of the palm palm side of your thumb to give you more control and stability so that you can glide through the lines correctly and you're not doing all this snake action because <laughs> i ain't gonna lie when you first start doing aim labs you got a whole lot of rattlesnake action you got some scorpion action <laughs> you got some <laughs> hey y'all not gonna action. understand what any of that like, means at all you're, you're gonna see it. You you're gonna there. see it you're gonna see it yeah, it's just you like whipping and, and instead it. of just going in straight direct lines man once you get that like that's why most something you can't explain though like, yeah you can't explain. you don't know why, you know do why do your your you thumb don't. or your hand does it it just does it <laughs> It just does it. Next drill following is spider shot. Now, spider shot, again, it is the same as line trace, but this time there's no line to guide you. This is your time to actually feel loose and feel free and try to use your wrist to flick to the area, which means quickly adjust to that area mm -hmm. on mouse and keyboard, using wrist, on controller, using your thumb. Using your thumb. Um, But we do the precision and speed now there is a ultimate version of, of both of, of these drills and it puts both of them together which is speed and precision disclaimer this drill is going to make you work yes i'm not gonna lie to you this is not a drill you can try to take lightly or do casually this drill is going to push you and the reason it pushes you be is because the ball gets smaller mm -hmm. the more that you hit and consistent disappears shots. faster so you have to hit those shots and it's gonna get tiny and when it gets tiny, that's when you feel the precision side actually kick in. Mm -hmm. And that's when you when you are able to hit those shots like quickly, just snap, bow, 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 and you get that rhythm and you start seeing a score going up. When you get online, you're not even going to realize it. You're just going to flick, see an enemy and flick, bow, and hit him. You're going to be like, dang. Without even, without even batting oh, eye. Me? And I also want to add, please pay attention to your stats. And when you look at your scores, look at the arrows that, that are next to the numbers. Make sure you guys really pay attention and celebrate those small victories. Like, because I ain't gonna lie, you're gonna have some great days aim training and you're gonna have some rough ones. Right. But in in the midst of all of them, celebrate your small victories. Like, though, even if the arrow goes up 1%, hey, that's 1%, I'm getting better. That's 1%, I'm getting better. Because, whoo, man, well, I'll tell you. Spider shot, mm -hmm. lie, a man. controller, man. I had to meditate and figure out how to how to aim on and, in that drill. And that even drill, keyboard you gotta show that's all palm thumb. Jay. That's all palm Jay. thumb right there. That's the that's the that's the. I be ID. struggling some, that, bro. There's that's days, the face ID right there. I mean, there's day. I've, like, listen, I've only been on keyboard and mouse for about seven months, and I've seen a huge increase in my drills. And disclaimer, I forgot to say, um, I am using rec I have my recoil control on. Oh yeah. And for me, that was a game changer. I understand you can do the drills without it, and it makes the drills 10 times easier. I mean 10 times easier. But when you add on recoil control, you realize that you have a, another level to learn, another gap to overcome. And that's being able to, if you're on keyboard and mouse, being able to pull down at the same time as you're using your speed to flick left or flick right. Mm -hmm. When you have to pull down at the same time. Also, you are ADSing too. And then also another too. another disclaimer. When Jay and I train, we don't train like box. Like we don't train just like this all hip fire. We train like you're playing online. Like it, I, I don't just hip fire all day when I play online. When I do spider shot, I do one set of hip fire. I get you, I do that one set. Mm -hmm. Then the next set, I'll ADS the next set. Then the next set after that, I'll mix in ADS with hip firing. So I'll shoot the middle, shoot outside, shoot middle, ADS shot. Then back to middle, then ADS shot, then back to middle, then hip fire, then back to middle, then hip fire, back to middle, ADS. And I mix them together because when you're online, 
That's what happens. You run through a doorway. You see an enemy. You're you hit center. You gotta re so now you well, hit fire. You try to hit fire him, and then you gotta ADS somebody. And ADS, like, somebody. ADS his teammate running through the doorway. So if you practice doing it in aim labs, and you practice it when the ball gets this tiny, and you able to hit it quickly, oh man, it changes the game. Sky's the limit. Next drill that we do, micro, micro shot. shot. So the next drill we did was micro shot. Micro shot is basically spider shot, just in a really small area, tight space. And for keyboard and mouse players, um, if you don't play claw. If you play palm, I would say just a little, bring your fingers back just a little bit. You know what I mean? So you get a little bit more speed and you're just going bow, 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 bow. And what, and at, in the best part of it is, is, is going to be like, bah, 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 bah. when you get there, when you get to that, bah, bah, when you get to that point, when you're going, bah, bah, it's, it's over. When you get to that speed, it's going to take you a while. Take your time. Mind you, this is micro shot precision. And then we have micro shot speed mm. right afterwards. The micro shot precision is the same as a spider shot. It's going to get very, very, very tiny mm -hmm. the more you keep hitting your shots consistently. And the point is you don't want to miss. You want to be able to hit your shots no matter what speed you're playing at. You want to be able to hit your shots. And again, we mix it both together. You're going to do one that's hit fire. And you're going to do one that has ADS. Oh, I also want to add, add uh, in these drills, they they adapt to your your speed and your precision. Mm -hmm. So again, they will get smaller the more accurate you are. But if you are struggling and you start to slow down and, and lose speed, mm -hmm. the targets will get bigger. So yes. that you can catch your momentum back. Um, the speed version of it is very 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 good too. Especially like when you start when you just get loose and you start hitting like like you know when you own hit, one man when you own when one you own one. I mean when you're on one. It's a good night. And again, mix it in again with the ADS. Treat it as if you're playing online. You know, mixing it in with the ADS. There's no aim assist here. So if you're hitting the shots, you're hitting the shots. That's actually you. And that's and that goes for controller players as well, too. This is why mm -hmm. aim labs or, or any type of aim trainer helps because you're doing something with no help. And you have to do it consistently. And you're learning muscle memory. Once you get the muscle memory down, oh my God. Guys, it's the limit. muscle memory that's the, that's, the, that's the game changer. The next draw up is arc track. Now, now we're over to the tracking section. Now we're in the tracking department. Now, in the tracking department, we got a couple of rules. Number mm -hmm. one, you're going to hold down the shoot button the whole entire time. So whatever your shoot button is, you need to be R1, L1, because some people play Legacy. I don't know. Something flip. crazy. Um, uh, R2, right click left click i don't care whatever your shot button is you're going to hold it down the whole entire time now you're like trey why because when you're playing online and you have to shoot you have to do what hold the shot button and you have to track at the same time so if you practice holding the shot button and tracking at the same time you're building your mental memory of i'm always tracking holding the shot button so now once you get your muscle memory down like that, when you get back online and you're playing, it's gonna be natural and it's, it's gonna natural. flow. And it's not gonna it's not gonna be that mental timer or, mm -hmm. or tick that goes off where it's like you run around a corner and you you low key are kinda in autopilot mm -hmm. and somebody surprises you and jumps around the corner and then you gotta no, you're already it's already gonna flow naturally it's, where your finger's already gonna be there. Because now you're already triggering yourself that while I'm holding this button down, that means I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. So it just becomes a natural motion. And then you do you really do when you when you're doing any tracking drill. And the reason why we chose the the art track is because it it helps you loosen up, especially on keyboard and mouse. It definitely pushes you on controller. Yeah, you loosen up. Like you know what I mean? Because when you track, you're naturally just used to going right, left, right, left. Okay. Sometimes diagonal, but mainly right, left, up, down. Most games, because Call of Duty is 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 horizontal. Yeah, it's, horizontal. it's not vertical. But if you're playing like a game like Overwatch, it's more you know vertical. But being able to track loosely, meaning being able to to go up and track and go to the right and go to the left and go down and still holding the shot button and ADSing in between, mm -hmm. pretending as if you're shooting at a bot or a person and you're ADSing while holding the shot button down. Now, me personally, I use different weapons at a time. So sometimes I'll use the pistol when I do this drill. But right now, because I'm on Call of Duty and I'm using sniper rifles, I am using the sniper. Mm -hmm. So being able to track ADS and then ADS on ADS and hip fire track and then go back to ADS and then keeping my hand loose. And even when I do start feeling myself tighten up, I always shake out, shake my hand out and be like, okay, 
loosen up, relax, and track. The more you tighten up, the worse your tracking is going to be. Which I can promise brings you. me to say, please take breaks periodically. Yes. Please. Take please breaks. take breaks periodically. Do not burn your eyes out just looking at a monitor for three hours. Like, do maybe, let's say if you have a playlist of drills, do maybe two or three drills, maybe two or three times, and then just take a break. Take mm -hmm. the maybe two-minute break, three-minute break, go get some water, rest your eyes, turn your monitor off for a second. Like, give your eyes a break and your hands a break because you ain't going... There's no good if your hands hurt from you just sitting in front of the monitor the whole time. Because you want to squeeze you're not the controller. Because you want to squeeze. You're, you're not going to get better because your brain is like, man, if you don't turn this off, man, like... I'm fried. <laughs> <laughs> I will take I'm both fried. of us out. Um, the next drill we did after was the next drill is Sphere Track 90. Now, Sphere Track 90 is a ball that is flying in front of you in the 90 degrees of the Man, room. Okay, and this ball just that goes everywhere. Ball is wicked. Again, that movement on that ball is disgusting. Whoever did the the idea for that ball, you're a sick person. I'm whoever did the ghost for that, I'm just kidding. Nah, you're a different breed. I don't know how you figured out that pattern, cause boy, that 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 sphere will move left, move right, then it'll do this quick little look. man. Man, that sphere will look. Ooh, that take, sphere be making me mad. Take your time with this drill. Try to become one with the ball. Take deep breaths. Remember, we're holding the shot button the whole time as we're tracking. You gotta try to slow the ball down mentally. You slow, to slow it, it down. down and sink your hand up to what your eyes see. It's cool. great that your yourself. eyes can see it, but sink your hand up to your eyes. Let your hand move loosely until you get the control of when it's going to go to the left. Try to keep up with it. You know what I mean? Don't try to predict where the ball is going. Let the ball guide you. Mm -hmm. Don't predict. Let it guide you. That's how I do it. You know what I mean? Now, that's actually yeah, really that's great advice because, you know, you trying to predict is going to make only your job harder. And remember to ADS and un-ADS in this drill. And the reason why, again, why we say that is because it helps. So that when you get in game, it always keep you're you comfortable in a live scenario doing headspace. I'm I'm just saying that y'all could use the advice or not use the advice. It's, it, it's up to you. I'm just I'm just trying to help y'all get better. The next drill up is Star Trek, not the show, the drill. Ah, uh, I'm nice. I I, I got like there. that. See star Trek it it is it, self explanatory. The ball goes in a big star, and you just want to track going across. Now you would think Trey, why do I do this drill? Because number one, you're gonna hold down the shot button the whole entire time. That's number one. And periodically, you're going to ADS and un-ADS. That's two. And the last part, you're going to imagine that when it's going in these directions, imagine a car going by you. And again, in war, like zone. war zone. And you have to shoot the window. Well, when the ball goes in a straight line, imagine that person That's running that across. Car. Or your, your, somebody running across the street in right? no man's land. There's no cover next to them. It's uh -huh. just free buns. Because you distract it like this. Or going up at an area, somebody's running up a staircase. Or somebody's flying in. Right? And you just you just learn how to track in a full star. So in, in every angle, meaning diagonal up left, mm -hmm. across the way, yep. diagonal down, mm -hmm. you're able to track each and in each individual angle. That's why this drill is important. Because you're able to track every single angle that, are, and the ball doesn't just go in one speed. It speeds up, it slows down, it's random. Mm -hmm. So you gotta keep up with it the whole entire time. And you have to know when it's speeding up. And you, you gotta, like, you get this, like, six yeah, sense. Yeah, you just, you can, uh, you can catch the rhythm, yeah. and understand, okay, it's gonna go fast right here. Okay, never mind, it's gonna go slow right here. It, I can't explain it. It, it, it has the yeah. habit of, of just, like, having a mind of its own. And you'll start off real slow, and then out of nowhere, it just speeds up, and you like, I thought we just had level, like level one, like, like it's my first day, like it's, it's actually like, <laughs> it's my first, first day. day. You want to act like this? Oh, okay, bro. I'm telling y'all, oh, man, okay. it, it that drill is a very, very good drill. If you like, if you want one of those drills, that's gonna help you full full arm tracking. This drill is gonna definitely help you full arm tracking, and it helps you blend in with arm tracking and wrist tracking at the same time. And if there, you're on there is a difference. I ain't gonna lie, controller, mm -hmm. it's, it's really gonna push the 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 flexibility in your thumb mm -hmm. to its limits. And I'm not joking, like I'm actually being serious because we already don't really have that much space as it is mm -hmm. on controller. 
So to actually have to point all the way diagonally up it's and then tough. come all the way down, then go all the way left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to make sure you do your hand exercises because, boy, you're going to catch a cramp right here. Right yep. here in your thumb. You oh, you're going to catch that cramp. You're going to get some SpongeBob and action. You'll like it too. No? no. Last strip, I mean, the last two drills that we got coming up is Micro Star Trek. Now, Micro Star Trek is basically the big version of it, it's it, what the Star Trek is. It's the small, tiny version of that. And this good is luck. all wrist. Good luck. When I, all right, listen. Good luck on, if you're on controller too. Good yes, luck. This drill is going to mess you up. I don't care what you're on. That, 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 that first week, that, man. Man, when I tell you, uh, it's, it's, it, 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 what happens is you, you gotta be, you'll be doing good. No, you'll be doing you gotta good. Be precise. But when it starts to slow down and then speed up, oh, that's when you get effed up. It's, it's because it, it, it goes slow. It'll be like, pow, pow. And because what do we tell you? Hold the shot button and hold and sometimes and ADS. ADS and un -ADS. ADS. Because now when you get comfortable with locking in, locking out, and you're keeping your rhythm, mm -hmm. there'll be situations where hey, you might ADS on somebody and have to un ADS because you need to you need to recenter re or to get out the way okay. and then go right and you're so comfortable with it. It's just it's just a press of a button for you. You don't see it any differently. If you're on controller, that you, that's also how you can abuse aim assist as well. Mm -hmm. You ever had that one friend that come over to your house and they try to play Call of Duty and they be like, bro, 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 what's your sensitivity? Like, I'm trying to ADS and like, bro. Like, and you you always see them run across every, and they just be holding their gun up like this the whole time. Going across corners. Just, walking around just, corners. Just walking around everywhere. Like, <laughs> they come out of spawn like this. Like, bro, you don't sprint. Nah, bro, you got to stay ready, man. Now, if you get used to just... <laughs> Hey, come on, stop. If you get used to, to being able to shoot both ways, it makes life a lot easier on you. That's why we give you this little secret information, okay? Last one is reactive track. This one, I, listen, this one, this one's gonna mess you up. I, I'm gonna just tell you now, this you one's gonna, gonna mess you work. up. You gonna have to work. You gonna have to work, I ain't gonna lie. You gonna work you, hard on this you drill. You definitely not gonna be able to do this drill casually. You're going to hate this drill. You gotta lock in. You because, gotta lock in. Because this one, this one is meant for you to feel like you, you, you're you're not good. <laughs> it's meant. Because not, mind you, it's moving so the ball is huge. It's 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 huge. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, it's moving at lightning speed. And it's moving faster than you can keep up with it. But once you start keeping up with it, when you can finally catch it, when you catch it, you man, track it. Man, when you realize that nobody in any other game is moving that fast, and you're able to track while holding down the shot button, ADS from time to time, and getting comfortable going in and out of ADS, relaxing your wrist and tracking it without tightening up. Or your hands. Or your hands. Oh my. Listen, I'm giving you the shot, secrets you to go to the next level. Yourself. Okay? I'm shocking yourself. I'm just saying, I'm giving you the tricks to go to the next level, pumpkin. Then you can take it if you want it. Right. You, you let know, me know what you want to talk about. Now, that's it, family. Y'all are getting our tips and tricks. That's Trey and Jay. Make sure y'all go out there, get better, grow, love yourself, keep y'all first. Be patient as well. And be patient, you know? And stay disciplined. We'll see y'all next time. That's Trey and Jay. We out of here.